kiddos. Today's learning target is I can tell the names of shapes. And so that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video, how we know the names of different shapes. We're also going to be introducing a family of shapes called polygons. Now, polygon is a word that you won't have to know and use much until the older grades, but it's the official math name for the shape family we're learning, and so I wanted to introduce it to you. So first of all, we're actually going to pause the video in just a moment. I want you to think about what shapes you already know the name of. So in a moment, pause the video and look around your house for shapes. How many can you name? What shapes do you see? Okay, pause the video, and then when you're ready, come back and press play again. All right, are you ready? Well, when you looked at all those shapes, you probably noticed that some shapes have straight sides, like these ones, where the lines of the sides are all straight lines. Even a shape with a lot of sides, as long as they're straight sides, that still fits in the straight sides only group. There's also shapes out there with curved sides. Another thing you might see when you look around for shapes are open shapes and closed shapes. Open shapes are things like this. It's almost like the shape isn't quite finished. If you put things in there and then tipped the shape on its side, everything would spill out because it's open. Closed shapes don't have an opening. There are lines that connect all the way around them. Now, in math class, we mostly focus on polygons, which are shapes that are closed and have only straight sides. So here is a sample of a bunch of different polygons. They all are closed shapes. There's no holes that things could escape out of and all of the sides are straight lines. That's what makes them polygons. In fact, the word polygon means many straight sides. But let's dig a little deeper into three really important polygons, three in shapes that you're gonna be using a lot in math class. Well, first let's talk about triangles. We name shapes by counting their sides. The sides are these big flat parts on the shape. A triangle has three sides. Even when you have different shapes of triangle, like a long pointy triangle, or this triangle where all the sides are the same, they all have three sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Triangles also have three corners. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now, in the word triangle, that beginning part, tri, means three of something. For example, if you've ever seen uh, a tricycle, that's a bike with three wheels. The name triangle actually means three sides, well, it means three corners but you can name it by looking at the sides. Some people prefer to count the sides, some people prefer to count the corners. When we describe shapes in math, we usually talk about counting the sides. Here's another important shape, rectangles. Once again, we name a rectangle by counting its sides. One, two, three, four. All rectangles have four sides. Another special thing about rectangles is that they have four square corners. Now, when I say square corners, I mean that the corner is an L shape. You could fit a square into that corner. So rectangles have four square corners and four sides. Every rectangle has those things. The last shape I want to introduce to you by counting the sides is a hexagon. Hexagons have six sides and six corners. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So, even if you have a squashed one, that's still a hexagon because it has six sides and six corners. One, two, three, four, five, six. On, look at this one. Now, some kids would look at this and say, no way, that's not a hexagon. It's not the right shape. But take a moment and count the sides or count the corners. Does it have six of them? If it has six, it is a hexagon. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is a hexagon, it's just a really weird looking one. So now that we've talked about these three important shapes, triangles, rectangles, and hexagons, and we've talked about how you name a shape with how many sides it has, let's look at today's assignment. All right, here we are in today's assignment. Okay, here's today's assignment. Now, if it helps, you can watch this part of the video again while you do your work so you can hear me read the directions. The first page of the jam is just a reminder of different kinds of triangles, rectangles, and hexagons. Just some shapes you know. You might want to come back and look at this page later when you have to spell some of the shape names. On the first page, that's what you'll be doing. You're going to count the sides and the corners and then name the shape. This shape has three sides and three corners. And so what kind of shape is it? If you said triangle, you are correct. This one's the same. They told you how many sides and corners and you just have to write the name. Down here though, you have to write a number for sides and corners as well as the name. On this page, you're going to be using the crayon tools to color in the shapes. The directions say, color the triangle green. Color the rectangle red. And color the hexagon yellow. For problem six, it says, color the shapes with square corners blue. Remember, Square corners are the kind of corners where you could put a square in it. If you're not sure that a shape has square corners or not, use the sticky note tool. I'll just type um, something onto it. That's the word corner. And you can use this sticky note to check if a corner is square corners. It's a little tricky because you have to rotate it just so. But you can see that that shape has a square corner right here. But look over here. No matter how I rotate it, this corner is bigger than a square corner. So that is not a square corner. You know, I'll leave this sticky note here for you. I'll call it the corner tool. I'll put it down there. So you can use this to measure the corners in these shapes and see if they are square corners. If they are square corners, you can color them blue. Almost done, last page. For problem seven, you're going to circle the shape that has six sides and six corners. For problem eight, there are two possible answers and you need to, sh to circle the thing that's true. So what is the same about these two shapes? Is it that they have square corners? Or is it the number of corners? Oh, be careful. It might be just one of them that's true, or it might be both of them. All right, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.